Today on Beauty from Trashes, we're going to be making wreaths like these ones. They're very simple to make and super easy. Kids can make them as well. They're not just for adults. Um, they're a little time consuming, but other than that, like I really enjoy making these. For your supplies, you'll need a wire hanger. Anyone will do. Then you'll need some trash bags, so you can either use rolled up trash bags like these, which are easier to cut, or you can use trash bags like these and recycle them. And it's a little more difficult, but then again, you are recycling, so whichever one you choose is fine. Now, for this reef, as you can see, I use pink trash bags, and I got these trash bags at the Dollar Tree for of course a dollar and so that was really nice and they had blue ones too and I think red or green maybe I can't remember and so that is a really good way to try and find color trash bags at the dollar store but I don't think Walmart or anywhere like that sells color trash bags but they do sell the rolled up white ones and probably black as well so you can get those and then you'll need a pair of scissors and that's the main stuff that you need but if you wanted to decorate your Christmas wreath you could get little glass ornaments like this one and they fit really well into the wreath and so you can get these and I got them for like $2.50 at Joann's and I know Walmart sells them and a lot of places sells tiny ones like this and then I have some thread to tie them onto the wreath and then you might want some ribbon or anything like that to decorate. The first thing you're going to do is take your wire hanger and you're going to bend it into whatever shape wreath you're going to make. So if you're going to make that breast cancer one, you would have to first untie or twist the hook and then do it. And this can be really difficult because some wire hangers are really hard to bend. And so you might need help or you might need to use some tools to do it and not just your bare hands. But if you are just making the regular wreath, it's usually pretty easy to bend it into just a simple circle. And so I'll try and do that here. And the circle doesn't have to be perfect because the trash bags will cover a lot of it. So just try and make it like, you know, a regular circle. But if there's like bends in it, you won't always see them unless they're like really large. So you don't have to worry that much. And if you want, you can use a tool to bend this part right here. If you can see that and make the circle a little bigger, but you probably won't be able to do that with your bare hands. So you might need something or a stronger person to do that. I'm not strong, so I can't do it. But. And that's the first step. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to show you how to cut is from the rolled up trash bags, and it's really simple. So just unroll your trash bag until you get to the end of that bag. So where there's a rip thing all the way till there. Once you get to there, take your scissors and you're going to cut slits all the way up your trash bag so that you can pull pieces up like this. So what you would have done was taking your scissors up here and just slit it all the way down to the bottom. And there's more than one like part that you have to cut so you're going to have to go and find them all where the two pieces are connected and cut them all on both sides and then once you have finished that just make sure that your pieces are kind of lined up and then take your scissors and you're going to cut half inch strips like that all the way down till the bottom. 
or till you get to that part where the bag stops and a new bag begins. And then once you have finished all your strips and got to the end, you're going to take your hanger and tie these pieces onto the hanger. So just tied one, take my next one, tie that one. And you're going to want to do like every bag that you do, tie it onto your hanger and then do the next bag. Otherwise you're going to have a mess of these strips everywhere because it's going to take a ton. And it'll, you'll just make a mess and plus, you know, this is a very long project and so you're probably not going to do it in one sitting. And then once you've put your pieces on, you're going to want to kind of spread out the strips like this. So that your wreath looks a little more full. So, I'm doing that. And then, once you have a bunch of pieces on, just kind of push it all the way to the end. And then keep going all the way around. And it's really simple. It's all you have to do, but it just takes a long time. So, now for your recycled bags. You're going to start by folding the bag in half just like this and you're going to cut off the bottom and then cut off the handles after you do that open your bag up again and kind of reset it fold it in half and then fold it in half again and then you're going to do the same thing that you did on your last bag and cut up the sides just like that and then make sure you cut up the sides on this side as well Once you have finished that, just continue doing what you did on the last bag and cut your half inch strips. Now if you didn't want the blue, then you could just take these pieces that actually have blue on them out and that way your wreath is only white or whatever color the bag is. And if you don't care, then just leave them. And then from this, get your hanger out. And do the same thing, just tie the bag pieces on. Now the one thing about these is they're a little less uniform than the bought trash bags. So that's a downer, but yet again, you would be recycling if you used these bags. So it's up to you. And then, you know, you just fan them out and push it down and continue that throughout your whole wreath. So I finished my wreath and it looks just like this and what I did was I put the trash bags on first all the way around and then I just tied these little um, ornaments onto the wreath and then I made this bow which I have a video on how to make if you don't know how to make a bow like this and then I just glued the bow on with a glue gun so that was really simple I really like how it looks and I'm probably going to hang it outside my front door 
So whenever you're making a wreath like this, even if it's not a traditional one, make sure that you put all the plastic on before you do any sort of decorations because it, it'll be hard to put the plastic on over or put the you know trash bags on while you're trying to maneuver around your decorations. Anywho, another idea for these is also you could make a pink or blue one like this and then put it's a boy or it's a girl in it and give it as a baby shower gift. So if you know you know a friend is having a baby, you would make the wreath for them and then when they have their baby they'll put it on their door for for their neighbors to know that they just had their baby. Like a lot of people do that. They put something in their yard to tell their neighbors that they just had their baby. And so I think that's a really cute idea for this as well as the breast cancer ribbon. And so if you have any ideas, you can put those in the comments below, please. And yeah, I hope this video was helpful and you gave me a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel. I try and put out at least one new video a week. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter.